Speaking to me was her mistake. Heeding her was my mistake. Now she is a tumor, taking over all that I was. Before her, I was much like you. Like any other kid, I just wanted to be somebody when I grew up. Educated, influential, rich. I spent decades pursuing this. I can't tell you exactly when she came to me. One thing is for certain, we grew together. She now taunts, you do not belong here. Your journey has been a waste. Like a diamond can only be cut by another diamond. Her noise can only be drowned out by a louder noise. How loud can you scream, bitch? She's screeching louder than ever. I'm lost even among people. Behind her fake smile, I hide. She's a parasite. I'll get rid of her. I need to abandon her. I should leave before she wakes. It is said that man and the universe are one. For eons, mankind and nature coexisted amiably. Man revered nature and saw God in everything. From the smallest pebble to the magnificent sun. But now, the connection between man, nature and the universe is lost. To truly know myself, I have to return to the core, to nature. I returned to my roots, but never anticipated the kind of enlightenment that was in store for me. I knew I'd die one day, but I never expected it to happen with the blink of an eye.
Death is like a black cat lurking in the dark, biding its time, hounding you from the very first breath. How ironic it is to struggle for life wearing a life jacket. In the face of death it dawns on me, life is nothing more than a journey with an inevitable end. Is anything secure in this life? It's a fact that death can occur anywhere, anytime. Yet we convince ourselves that it is something distant and we continue being blissfully ignorant. Maybe that's why our elders say they lived an illusion rather than a life. What is the true meaning of life? We're like a blindfolded racehorse trapped in a never-ending cycle of desire. Our insatiable need for distinction, prosperity and influence keeps us running. It's only when we reach the end of the race, soaked in blood, sweat and tears, that we realize it's all been a mirage. Watching these gentle spirits go about their lives, grateful and satisfied with what they have, helps me emerge from my delusions. Her voice, that voice I hastily painted as a curse, was actually a blessing in disguise. I have made peace with myself. I have learned to live each day as it were my last. For those who have the courage to live, life is beautiful.